Okay, this video is going to go over for loops. Uh, a for loop is going to process a list of things. So basically, what we need to do is do something to get a list. In this case, I've statically set a list to some list of things: one, three, five, seven, and fifteen. Uh, the syntax for the for loop: the word for followed by whatever you want to use as your temporary variable. That temporary variable is what you will reference inside the for loop uh, to process the word in some list of things. We need do as a keyword to start, done is a keyword to end, and then whatever we want to do inside the loop we put here. In this case, we're just gonna echo out whatever is in temp, temp variable. A um, Couple things to note. Up here where we are assigning the value to temp variable, there's no dollar sign. Because you remember when we, when we assign the variables, there's no dollar sign. Over here, we're referencing some list of things, so we needed the dollar sign. Down here inside the loop where we're uh, referencing temporary variable, we need the dollar sign. And then down here at the end, if you have something you need, you need to do after the loop, uh, you can do it after the done. So in this case, I'm just going to echo the loop is complete. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do for now. We're just going to work on this static list, 1, 3, 5, 7, 15. So I run that and it prints out my, my list of items. Uh, so that is the mechanics of making a, a for loop. However, it's not very exciting to just have a static, static list and probably not very realistic. So, uh, so if we put like um, dollar at sign there, that's going to set our list of things to the list of command line arguments we enter. So if we do that, we can uh, pretty much process any number of command line arguments in this way. We can keep putting them forever and for each one of those command line arguments uh, is going to run through our loop for that command line argument. So so that's something that's helpful to know if you want to if you want to ask a user to run a command and, uh, and, and process the command line arguments in that way. We could also we could also actually ask the user to enter, enter a list, right? Echo, enter a list of items to process. And then we could read some list of things. Read some list of things. So now if we run forward.sh, Enter list of items to process. Three, five, seven, food is good. So now it, it, it took those items out of my input that I entered and um, processed them. So that's pretty much the, the basics of a for loop. You need a list of things, right? And then you work through and, and process those lists of things. Um, please use variables better than some list of things intent variable you want to use variables that are that are meaningful so uh, you know say for example I wanted to, to do something to process users and I was going to get a list of users so I know I can get a use list of users um, list of users from the Etsy password file I use awk dash f colon um, I want to print dollar one print dollar one so that's going to give me a list of users let me go put an s on that list of users right and then for my temp variable i'll use the word user because that makes sense to me and then i'll need to reference my list of users so in this case it says for user in users which conceptually makes sense to me we're just going to print out the usernames dollar user and then at the end it prints the loop is complete. So let's hope this works. I have the read in there still. Oh, I didn't put the uh, name of the file on uh, my command. Hey, get the get the file from Etsy password. So there you get a little extra learning from that. So there we go. So I got a list of users and I printed the user the username out. So, you know, 
this is just to get the the syntax of what you need to do for each user. You might want to do certain things. You know, check to see the last time the user logged on. That might be something you want to do. We're we're not going to go through processing users because we're just really just worried about the uh, syntax of the for loop at this point. So to summarize, we need a list. We need the for loop with the proper syntax. Inside the for loop, we need the to do whatever it is we want to do. No dollar sign there, dollar sign there. Uh, and then if the loop ends, we need to keep doing other stuff that goes outside the loop. So that's pretty much the syntax for a for loop.